Hello, Internet. Ben here with a mysterious space update. Um, it's only the 5th. It's already the 5th. It's already the 5th. It's almost a week into the month. That's ridiculous. Um, anyway, but I've got a new little thing in. Uh, I've been working on some other stuff, too. I can't remember. Hopefully, we'll encounter when we get in. I do know... Oh, I do remember. Whoops. Um... And sorry if you can hear that keyboard. I got a new keyboard, and it's real loud, and I don't like it. It's so loud. Um, yeah, you still can't do punctuation, but you can do numbers now. That's cool. So there you go. That's a thing. Uh, but the reason I put it in debug mode is there's now a debugging console. Um, and so when you have debugging mode enabled, then then this is available by pressing tilde on the keyboard. There isn't a uh, gamepad equivalent, because that would be real hard. Um, uh, so... Where to begin? We'll begin with this. <laughs> if you remember debug mode before, when you started a new game, it would start you with a bunch of items. It would start you with a bunch of weapons, shields, armors, accessories, artifacts, advanced, te advanced technologies. It started you with all that stuff. It no longer does that, but it gives you access to this debugging console where you can give yourself whatever you want. And I mean, this really is for me to test stuff. Um, like if I add a new advanced technology, I'm going to want to be able to test that effect specifically, and I would be able to tell the ID number of a new one. I, you know, I haven't memorized them, so let's just try. Let's give me two advanced technologies. Uh, it, oh, it accepts plural or not. Um, I don't know. We'll do effect ID. Well, here, let's try one that doesn't exist. Oh, it didn't say anything. And I keep wanting to press up because I think of, you know, like DOS or Linux where you can press up to go to previous commands, but I haven't implemented that here. Um, technologies, I don't know, five then. Maybe it doesn't. I thought I thought I uh, allowed plurals. Anyway, a hundred or a thousand, whatever I did. I don't I don't know, guys. Does it not work? It should be giving me error messages. So clearly, that's not working. Okay, fine. There we go. Um, it's supposed to tell you like, oh, there's no advanced technology of that ID. Pick a value between you know zero and twelve or however many. You know, I don't remember how many I've got. But anyway, let's check out what these do. Okay, apparently that's what effect number whatever I just picked was, number four. So I could give myself more of those if I wanted um, more upgrade points. The advanced, so <sighs> the alien artifacts, if you remember, are random in that every game you don't know what a red one is going to do or a blue one is going to do or a green one is going to do or whatever. And so when you give yourselves an alien artifact of a particular color, which here you have to identify with ID. I should change that to let you specify color by name. Um, you don't know what it's going to do. Advanced technology, for some reason I coded differently, the effects are fixed to the ID number, but the name is assigned randomly, whereas alien artifacts, the effects are assigned randomly and it's the colors that are fixed. I don't know why I did it that way. Um, so anyway, if you give yourself alien artifacts who, you know, ID2, you don't know what that's going to do in a game until you use it, but Advanced Technology 4 is apparently always going to give me an upgrade point, uh, you know, regardless of the game. So that's kind of a, a funky thing. Um, I don't know, and I don't know that I care to change it, it's whatever. Uh, and we can give ourselves weapons, I don't know if we wanted to give one, we don't have to specify. Give one weapon, uh, we want, I don't know, let's give ourselves a level 20. Uh, and then we will have an amazing harder rubberized split blaster too. It's gonna just like tear up everything. But that's not what I came here to show you. I came here to show you other things. And that are not complete so we'll have little issues. Oh, you might notice that little guy. Let's pretend we didn't encounter him yet because we might go, I don't know what that's for. Oh god, the bouncy bullets! This is gonna be really good. Alright. So yeah, I don't know what that does. I'm lying. I know what that does, but let's just look around. Um, do, 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 do. But that is new. You know, it's probably just some, like, piece of debris or rubble. It, I doubt it does anything special. Dun, 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 dun. Looking around. Finding cacti. Uh, I can't aim. I'm expecting angles, and angles aren't happening. Okay. Oh, yeah, because I'm in debugging mode, I get all the enemies. That's dangerous. Well, nothing to do about it now. Nothing to do for it. Whatever you want to say. There we go. Please find our lost rover. So this is real fortunate. Um, it, it's they're a little bugged right now in that. Okay, so you can see like that bush is in front of them, and that's fine. But if there's a tree or something else tall, seaweed in front of them, it will cover up the dialogue. 
Um, and I don't really like that you go behind it. I don't know. I'm having a hard time deciding. Like, it looks weird when you go in front of it. It looks weird when you go behind it. It looks weird all the time. I might want to do away with the box and just show the text. You know, I'm just going to have to play with the UI. But anyway, they want us to find his lost rover and a C because you couldn't see the bullet going behind it. Uh, and yeah, so that debris wasn't debris. Spoilers, it was a rover. So let's go find his rover for him. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, goodness. I saw Mad Max today. I know that that's like way late. I'm just sharing since I'm, you know, flying. It was really cool. It was so weird. It was cool because it was so bizarre. Like the story, I mean, the setting was, was it was the setting. I mean, the story wasn't anything, you know, too outlandish. You know, people want to get back to their home and, and be free and, and everything else. Um, but the setting and the details in the setting were so crazy. I don't know who invented that world. I guess the first Mad Max movies, I never saw them. Anyway, it was real good. Thank you, could you put it down near the base? So they know that I'm still holding it. There you go, please. Thanks again, please take these. So so hopefully you saw all that dialogue. It does go by a little quickly. Um, and, and what's not happening here, besides other bugs, as I mentioned, it, it's not giving me num nums. So what's going to happen, num nums, that's what they're called. That's, that's not what they're called. So what's gonna happen is that after you bring back the rover, They'll give you stuff and I'm gonna put I think always three boxes where one box is points because it took you time so I want to reimburse you for the time spent since you're losing points um, you know if you recall at the end of the level it'll be like oh minus 400 points because you took 400 seconds or whatever so they should give you points to reimburse you for the time I also want them to give you just a random goodie it, you know it could be an advanced technology or a ship part or whatever and I think I also want to have them give you something that you can only get by doing these quests. Because, I mean, points and, you know, random drops you can get. It would be nice if they gave you something unique to them. Um, and that might be blueprints for unlocking new stuff, or that might be just, like, a unique consumable. You know, I haven't really thought about it. It needs to be something that you'd want to do, you know, all the time. And you might want to anyway, because, you know, that's another cool thing to do. And I might lock fuel behind those quests. And uh, recovering a rover isn't going to be the only quest. It is currently the only quest, but I want to add more quests. Even if it's, you know, we might have like, oh no, pick up our lost guy, and so you just have to go and, and track or like a funny dude in a spacesuit or whatever. Um, but it could also be like, you know, can you go place this thing for us? Or, or can you, do you have a spare shield that you can give us? Or other things, I, I don't know how it would work the UI for that. Well, I guess you just drop it, because you can drop items now. Yeah, that'd be great. You could just be like, get rid of it. And then they could be like, thanks. Yeah, it'll work. So, um, uh, good. I'm glad. <laughs> I, I probably would have realized that later. But yeah, I, I just realized that now. So perfect. So yeah, as many little quests as I can think of um, and different re rewards. I don't know why I feel compelled to shoot that guy. Let's get that shit part back. So they're going to give you stuff. And yeah, sometimes they might give you fuel. I might, you know, lock the fuel behind them. I think I said that before. And, you know, anything else I can think of. Uh, mostly, I, I think I'd like them to be optional. But, you know, whatever, whatever. They can be everything. So anyway, that's that's everything. Um, something else I'm not sure I mentioned. Um, I had been thinking for a long time that I had fixed, like, the crazy crash bugs because I had not been receiving any more crash reports. What in fact has happened is that the crash reporter was disabled. I don't, you know, I disabled it for testing. Whoa, it's cycling through the colors real fast. I don't think it always does that, right? Can you see that? I thought it went slower. Um, I don't know, sorry, that's weirding me out. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I'll look into that later. Um, yeah, so my friend Steven, I've mentioned him before, he's a game designer at Amazon. Uh, he has not never been able to play my game and uh, we, we got to talking today. He's often very busy, but we happen to be able to play a game of League of Legends and, and chat. And he tried out Mysterious Space, and he said it crashed. And I was like, oh, well, did it pop the crash reporter? Can you send a report? And he said it didn't send it, or it didn't pop that up. I was like, what? It didn't pop it up? Is there a bug with that? And then I saw it was disabled. So that's real frustrating <laughs> because it's been at least a month, and it just hasn't been there. So the game could have been crashing, and I just never knew. And I, I it is I'm more willing to believe the game is crashing for people than that it crashes for no one like that seems impossible so in my mind it's crashing for people and I'm not hearing about it and that's real frustrating because <laughs> I would like to fix those bugs so I don't know what to do I don't I don't I don't know what to do um, I would like to kind of push a fix for that early but I don't know I'll, I'll have to figure it out and you know I can 
I'm using Git to track all the changes. If you're not familiar with that, how to describe it. Think of Dropbox, but with like super cool versioning. Um, so I can, you can easily go back in time and say what was the, what were the files like at that point in time. And then what's neat, even cooler than Dropbox is you can say, okay, let's start a new, a new copy, and, and Git calls it branches with only these, you know, and start totally new changes. And then we'll have both of them side by side and we can switch between and blah, blah, blah. So I think what I might do is go back in time to, uh, you know, before some of these changes which aren't done, put in the fix for the crash reporter and then push that update out to Steam um, because that's a problem. I, I need to be hearing about those those crashes if they're happening. And they apparently are because it was crashing for Steven. So anyway, that was all technical nonsense. But the point is I'll, I'll get that fixed up one way or another because that's important. Not like I don't want to wait three weeks, you know, three more weeks for the end of the month before the crash reporter is out because I would like to be fixing those bugs during this these next three weeks. So, anyway, thank you as always for watching and listening and playing and giving feedback and being awesome. And yeah, as I said, you know, monthly release. So, this, you know, what you have seen there, those uh, new little sub quests or side quests or whatever you want to call them, those are going to be in. And I honestly don't know what else is going to be in. Probably uh, another mini boss, at least one. You know, I always like to get more of them. Uh, more French translation stuff. I don't know. I'm going to look at it. Um, but I'm really happy to get the uh, tractor beam. More uses for the tractor beam because when it first came out, you know, there wasn't much you could do with it. And so I, I'm really happy to see that mechanic getting more integrated into the game. So there's, you know, it doesn't feel like a one-trick pony or whatever you want to say. But anyway, I have kept you long enough. I've kept me long enough. It's 3.20 a.m. I'm going to go to bed. Uh, so thank you again and goodbye.